just look heavy. You just go. You just, stuff, you know? No, you just, you just you just smooth. <laughs> You look phenomenal today. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Sab. This was the best Gee. I've ever seen you look. This is the best. And I'm this, not this, even this is saying. the best, the best I've is. felt in a very long time. Let me tell you that. Wow. <laughs> so, thank you. Appreciate it. It's warm. It's less air. <sighs> Doing the speed session here is fun. When you're fit. You just joined OTC, right? Yep, back hey, in November. How are you liking it so far? Uh, I love it, I love it. I love the group, love Coach Mark. You know, insert, they're an interesting bunch. You know, they make track fun. You know? what, what kind of brought you here? Ah, uh, well, the great coaching, you know, the great history. They had a, they have a pretty good history of 800 and 1500 runners. So, you know, I just want to add to that, right? How long have y'all been in Flagstaff for? Um, it's our third week now. So. How long? Do you have to stay like six weeks? Um, I think only four or five. Um, we're going to go down for um, for Brian Clay, the first season opener in California. Oh. Yeah. Did you all do much indoor? Um, I didn't. I just ran the one race. Um, I mean, my focus is outdoors really, and uh, I got a bit unlucky. Got COVID, so that, that messed up my training a bit indoors. But um, some of the other guys ran run a couple more indoor races, but but really, outdoors is always the focus for yeah. us. So. What do you got going on today? What workout? Uh, so we're starting off with uh, two sets of four fours, and then um, going into three sets of uh, 1200, 300. So just speed work. Yeah, 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 bit of speed work there at the end. So should be should be fun. How often are you all on the track? Um, we've been getting down here um, once or twice, once or twice a week. Um, usually we have one one hard track session, and then something on the trails and some tempo. Um, most weeks. Yeah, nice. Looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, me too. What's your workout today? Today we got. I that was dope water. Seriously, three, yeah. three sets of four fours. I thought I'd start drinking that. Um, <laughs> start at 64. Back off a 100 meter jog. So we're we'll around like 40 seconds. And then we go take about four minutes, and then we go three sets of uh, 1200, 300. Uh, that'd be around 64, 65, and then we'll do two minutes between the three and the 1200. So. You spiking up for the whole workout, or those? No, nah, these are just flats. Low and light flats. We might, we will switch up later, but I just like to get it started with these. Hopefully, the first two sets of the three, three, four. So. How's training been going so far in Blackstaff? It's been good, man. Um, I didn't come here as often as you used, I usually do, but. Coming here, this uh, got here about four weeks ago now, so we're just kind of at the end of the four week. So kind of that's why I kind of got a long session today. Third what are y'all here for? Third session of the week. I'll be here for another two weeks. So probably April go down on the 14th. And <laughs> plan is to run a 15 at Brian Clay and then get back to Eugene before uh, we look into a 5K. So, yeah. You decided to get back out there? It's been a while since your last race. Yeah, I ran since last July. Yeah. So, <laughs> was that the trials or? Was no, it? I did. I did a meet out in a sound running up in California, like the about I think week before the Olympics or so. Did a 5K there. Was it pretty? But <laughs> yeah, man, uh, it's a new season. Here we go. What shoes are you doing the workout in? Uh, I'm gonna start with the Street Flies. Got those just recently. They're pretty nice. And then um, I think we'll switch to switch to some Dragon Flies um, after maybe first two sets. How do you like the Street Flies so far? They're this good. Part? I'm a big fan. I mean, they're really comfortable. Um, nice bit of bounce, but not too much. And um, I feel like you can still get the legs turning over a bit quicker than than the next percent. So yeah, big fan. Big fan. Uh, what type of workouts do you normally do those in other than the Alpha Flies? What type of workouts yeah. do I use these in? Um, usually, usually it'll be like um, sort of shorter efforts, but not like that fast. So I mean, like 400s, anything slower than than 60, you know, I, I'll run in in these. But quicker, I I switch to spikes. Um, also, just like when we do our little speed sessions and drills and stuff like that, I tend to wear them for that. Um, you know, for doing 150 strides, that sort of thing, 200s. Um, yeah, and then many, many spikes for when we're really, really trying to move. So I got the, I got the serious runner glasses today. Oh, nice. No, no more aviators, looking like a scrub. 
I mean, I like the aviators, but yeah, for running, these are probably better. <laughs> We're in the street fly as well? Yeah, yeah. They're all right. Uh, yeah, I like them. Like, for something like this, it's basically perfect. Like, um, doing some, like, short recovery, like, not super fast reps. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're just really nice for that. Um, yeah. So coming off an indoor season, you had a PB in the mile. Yeah. What's it? How you feeling? Kind of another indoor season in the books, coming to outdoor. Yeah. No, feeling good. Um, I was a little disappointed with how I did at US Indoors, to be honest. But uh, it was, you know, like still a good step in the right direction for me. And we never really like outdoors is what we want to be ready for. So um, I feel like this trip is really going to shift us forward, even from you know where I was indoors. So yeah. So. What's yeah. kind of the main goal for outdoor, main focus? Oh, just US, just USAs. Really? Like, I would say worlds at home, but got to make a team first. Yeah. So, USAs, make the team, and then you worry about, you know, worry about worlds in, in the in the new adopted hometown of, of Eugene. So, it's a pretty exciting prospect, but got to focus on USAs yeah. first. Goodbye. First two feel not bad. First one, <laughs> first one was a little stiff because <clears throat> I was ready to go, and then we had to wait for like oh ten God, minutes for the kids. Uh, so I kind of got like got a little cold legged, but so I went like 65 to first 400. But after that, we're back on the clock, and then this one was nice having the boys link in. It's nice. So just switching up to spikes, just kind of. To take my legs a little bit. Got those 1200 stick coming, so get a little more grip. We, we run about 63s there. We'll get back in and run the same pace. So.
You all done with 400s? Yeah. What's it now? 12? Three sets of 1200, 300. How are the legs feeling? It's going into kind of longer reps now. Yeah, well, uh, we'll see. I mean, the legs actually don't even feel terrible. Just the breathing is tough. Yeah. Anytime you're doing, like, anytime we do our first whatever off of short rest, it's just tough. But, What's the recovery right now between sets? Uh, I think it's just, they're just taking a lap jog, so I'll just link up with them when they're done. I think they already changed their shoes. Bikes are those? Just dragonflies. Dragon Old colorway. Well, well, the TC color, sort of. Good. <coughs> Good. I was thinking, I think 6'6 six, six might be better. <laughs> we look just fucking Vince dry. Yeah, I think so. Now that now the Vince has done his rep, we switched to 600. <laughs> that win. <laughs> That's not jack, buddy. Jesus. How's it you want to switch then? I mean, as long as Vince doesn't have to lead, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's fine. We won't put Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I just go wide after this. We go 300 now. No, no, no. I know, but like. Oh, okay. I'm just talking about the 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The three, I don't care who. Well, you guys, yeah. I'm in the back, cause. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> so you just go wide. For the six, or the 12. I'll come here. I'll complete this. Yeah. And, then and I then just gradually out the way. Yeah, yeah. And then Sounds you just good. take it. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> All right. I'll take this three. What do we want? 40. You guys are like 42, 43. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 10? <laughs> right. You good? Yeah. Good job, boys. Good. 41, 42. 43. Oh, come on, Vince, be sensible. He struggled on the 12. Don't go with Will when he's fucking ripping it up. How'd that 12 feel? <laughs> it's good, man. Yeah, it was nice, but uh, you know, credit to Vince taking the taking the pace for the whole thing. <laughs> so well, I was I just chilling. I just started gusting when he yeah. was up there. It was like never let up. <laughs> Brandon, watch out! Good job, way to work. I was like, is he gonna go wide? I was like, did he mean I was supposed to go wide? I forgot. <laughs> you good, man. You good, Tenzo? Huh? You good? I just did. That wind killed him, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry about that one. <laughs> that wind was busting, too. How's that? go 150s with a 50 and do six of them so that would be like a break yeah. thousand yeah. just a plastic yeah, yeah. six by 150 breakdown then
Yeah. Yep. Those are the ones that you need to just keep efficient. You know? Yeah. 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 Sure. Keep the work done. So. Yeah. control, this is great. Okay, well done. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> don't press in mate. Alright? Free, but don't not to the gun. Just feel good about it and close. And good man, last one. Yeah, he's strong. Hang in there. Nearly done. Oh. Man, I can't wait for lunch. I'm starving. <laughs> How much harder is this doing it by yourself? Um, ah, it's not too bad. You feel the wind a bit on the home stretch, but that's all right. Feeling pretty controlled still, so it's good. Yeah. Oh, and we're done. <laughs> Hooray! We <laughs> survived. Hey, just keep that there. That's the place you put for it. Now you can those long legs. You can keep more of that. Just keep yeah. it. Just keep it there. That, that's where you get your. Yeah. You know what you're doing. You've got some work to do here. You're in a good place. So yeah. Keep on that. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go up for a little four or five mile shuffle this afternoon, back up in Flag, just uh, shake the lactic out a little bit. Yeah. Were you pleased with that workout, obviously? Yeah, definitely, yeah, it went well. Um, you know, I think, honestly, at the moment, I'm feeling probably the best I've felt in quite a while, definitely over a year, so I think uh, something about the altitude and Flag seems to be working for me. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, definitely pleased with that one. And you know, those longer efforts will definitely move me on for for the 1500 fitness so yeah man I'm, I'm looking forward to getting out on the track and racing you know what's your first race up uh we're gonna go down to uh brian clay you can do a um, 15 there yep yeah 1500 so should be a good field and some good competition so looking forward to yeah. good luck uh, thank you for the heat honestly the wind was more of a pain than the heat <laughs> but uh oh Wait, where's my? Hey. So Arnold Palmer? Yes, sir. Go to. Arnold Palmer, best drink for after a workout. <laughs> Is it still cold? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, Arizona iced tea. If you want to hit me up with a sponsorship, anytime. <laughs> Arizona I need a sponsorship. Sponsor, yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I took a couple pictures of it with you drinking it. Yeah. Thanks, it man. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. I will. You need to tag them. <laughs> Seriously, man. Yeah. Hey, that would that would honestly that would make my year. If if they I don't even need the money. If they just sent me free Arizona iced teas, the amount of money I've spent on them whilst I've been up here in Flag, kind of. Even though they're like, yeah, dollar. So sugar in it or what yeah. do you like about them? Just the taste. I don't know. I just like the taste, man. <laughs> um, yeah, there's oh, there's plenty of sugar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's plenty of sugar. Hey, I'm sorry for clipping you, man. It's been a while since I clipped you. <laughs> I've gotten good at running behind you. I move around too, cause I in the turns I go wide and then I come back in the straightaway. Give a roll to you. Yeah, it's cause like I'm just too long to stay tight. So in the turns I go wide. Yep. And uh, if you don't know how to run behind me, I can easily like you think it open up, then I come back. Yeah. And then you like kind of wide and slam it. Yeah, yeah. How was that last one? 38. Nice and easy. 38. I told you go through 240. It's nice when you get going, like. Uh, 64. 211. Yeah. 211 for 12. No, 311. Sorry, 311. 311. You know what I mean? Yeah, 211. I was really rolling. Yeah, that's that's what you ran the last two. Nicely done. Nicely done. Yeah. How was that three? You look good. It's nice, man. Yeah, it's Finally nice. see you drive. You're yeah, yeah. 
open the hips up a the little bit. The faster you go, the more athletic you look. It's deceiving. Yeah, I'm, I'm not True. built to run slow, man. I know, it's good. Yeah. I just look you heavy. You just go. Heavy you just, stuff, you know? No, you just, you just smooth. <laughs> You look phenomenal today, Jake. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Sam. This was the best Gee. I've ever seen you look. It's the best. This, this, this is the best, it's the best I've felt in a very long time, let me tell you that. Wow. <laughs> so, thank you. Appreciate it. No. How did you find the flex? The first set? You I kind of regret wearing them, honestly. I, I should have just gone straight to spikes. I thought I heard you mumbling. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that work out for you, Hess? It was pretty good. Three session week. Felt a little bit to gone to the last set, so I just told coach, let's not stretch it too much. And uh, he agreed on, so we ended up, instead of doing um, three sets of the 1,200, 300, I did two sets and then Will went solo for the last set. So. What's your mileage at right now? I'll be, I'll be just around, depends on, tomorrow I'm just gonna go 90 minutes instead of 15 miles. So I'll probably run like 13, so I think I'll put me at like 97 or so. 95 to 100 is what I'm shooting what's, for. What's the next race up for you? Me, Vince, Mr. William, and uh, Brandon are gonna go down. Uh, Brian Clay and run a 15 on the 15th. And then uh, we'll go home for two weeks. And then I think uh, I'm gonna eye on a 5K out at um, Sound Running on May 6th. And I think Will's gonna be doing a 15 sometime soon, along with Vince. What's your favorite event right now? So last year you ran anything from the 15 to the half. I like mixing it up, man. Um, I like the 15 to start the season with, just kind of shocks the body. And, but you know, my event is, is the 5K, even though as much as I'm trying to go that distance above it, <clears throat> uh, I just I, I like the 5K. It's a little bit of tough. Is that what you'll try to qualify for? for yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy the 5K, get my legs rolling. Yeah. Nice to have these 1500 meter guys to uh, get my legs going. So I got, uh, I got, uh, I came here a week early for the rest of the crew did. Um, and I usually just run mileage when I come up here, but the idea is that when they come up here, we'll be able to get going to do three session weeks. So um, same routine I've been doing the last 10 years. So um, my body knows when, when it's time to start squeezing in and, you know, starting to uh, get ready for that competition season and April being up on us, it's, uh, you know, we're pretty much about four or six weeks away from being on a full season, so. Yeah, how long you say till you kind of see a benefit of training at altitude? You see it like as soon as you go back to sea level and start racing? Uh, you know, for me, it's just because when I come up here, it's tough. I know the challenge between first day to like, or even the first seven days to uh, by the time you've been here for three to four weeks, I know it is how my body adapts and gets comfortable. So even though like you don't feel the magic, I notice a fitness difference. So that's what I come up here for. And it's just kind of the mental isolation of coming to camp, mentality of coming to camp, focusing for that six, eight weeks, and then going down and get the season going. So um, outside the scientific numbers, that's what I come up here for. Just the uh, mental. Well, I appreciate you having us out here today. Hey, thank you for, thank you for coming down, man. So have you noticed like, Training next to these Olympians, several on the team, as it kind of helps you mentally and physically, you feel like? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, obviously, I mean, from a fitness perspective, it's, it's huge being able to train with them, but um, I think even more valuable is, you know, the, the mental perspective they offer. You know, I've, I've learned a lot from just talking to, to Hassi and like Ben, you know, about, you know, they've been to these major championships and competed at the highest level. and. Um, you know they have a lot of great insights into the, you know the mental aspects of competition and training which you know are really helpful for somebody who's just just coming into it like me oh well been here a few years now but you know there's still always stuff you can learn for sure do you say you're feeling the most fit right now that you've ever felt or at least in a while yeah yeah definitely um i think at least at this point in the year i mean last year i didn't have the most ideal altitude camp it was is my first time up at altitude and um you know, I'm not sure I got everything quite right, but so far this year, touch wood, um, you know, things have been going, going better, and um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic and pretty, pretty happy with where I'm at at the moment. So yeah, you're looking good. Well, yeah. good luck at your first race. Thank you very much, and thanks for coming out, man. Appreciate it. How did that workout feel for you? Uh, it's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it just didn't really feel great. Even on the fours, like the fours are meant to be the sort of like controlled part of the session and 
they didn't feel that way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's tough out here. I mean, if you're not like, if you're not on your A game, like you're just gonna get like found out immediately. And even though I've been feeling pretty decent this trip, like it's like it's just the breathing on short reps. Like if you are off to a bad start and you can't recover, it's just so much harder to get it back. And, like that's the point of being up here. But yeah, it's just. Just gotta, it's just been gotta a, put this one out of the mind, really. Has it been a long week training? Uh, yeah, we've had like it's our first three session week, like good amount of volume. Just uh, yeah, just um, yeah, I guess like a little bit more tired going into yeah. it than I uh, especially end of the week. Thought. Yeah, yeah, like leading the first, leading the entire first 1200 probably also didn't help, but. I should be able to do that on a good day. So, um, yeah, that's still that's still just sort of on me. But it's all right. Um, it's got to bounce back for the next one, really. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, good luck uh, coming up on the race. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for coming out.